Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to Code with Clinton. So, this is episode 10 of the Django REST Framework Tutorial Series. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a cart in this channel. So that's what I'll do. We are getting started right now. So here's the video. So here's the first step. So first of all, go down to your models.py file. Your models.py file. You're going to have the source code in the in the video description. So don't worry about doing writing everything by yourself. I will share the source code with you guys. So right now, go down to your models, go down to the models.py file. My models.py file is in the store app. But I recommend you have yours in the API app in the stand, which is up here. You get. But right now, I have mine in the store app. So go there and make sure you're using a UUID as your cat's ID. You get. So why why do I say so? UUID are more secure. You know they are longer, and they are random characters of 32. So they are more secure. So someone cannot just come and guess your cat's ID. So go there, make sure you use a UUID field, like the way I'm doing right here. So after you've done this now. We need to create our cat API. So how do we do? Up, how do we go about this? It's very simple. First of all, you have to create a serializer. So after, after a serializer, you need to create a view and then a URL. So that's the three things you need to do. So that's for that. Let's do that right now. So I'm going to go down to my API app. This is my API app over here. So here I am. So API apps. I'm going to open the serializer.py file. So let's create a cat serializer in this chance. So go down to the bottom of the page now. So I'm going to let me say class. So I'm going to call this cat serializer. So cat serializer. So it's going to inherit from serializers dot model serializer. Understand? So follow this step. So after you've done this, now we're going to declare our meta class. So we'll call it class meta. Class meta. So and then we're going to have the model. Our model is going to be the cat model. This is called cats, yeah, cats. So I'm also gonna have the fields in the stand. The fields. So we're gonna call it fields. Should be equal to. I'm gonna call this ID. So if you check closely. If you check the cat. Let's check our model right now. So I'm gonna show the model. So open the model of the file. So you can see. I, I'm gonna show you my cat model. You can see. The cat model we only have two fields we have the id and the created so let's add that over here so created okay so before i proceed i'd love to introduce i'd love to, I'd love to introduce you guys to a new django book this book is called django for by example this book is really really is really superb you see i've got my own copy so i recommend you get this book in this time you're gonna find the link in the video description so get yours this book is really structured for beginners to advance Django developers you get. So if you are new to Django, if you are an intermediate developer or if you are an expert, this book is going to really help you grow and master Django. You understand? So you are going to find a link in the video description. So the book is called Django 4 by example. So Antonio is the author. Anton Antonio did a great job there. So check out this book. You, you are really going to enjoy it. You understand? I recommend it because I have, I've, I've seen it and I've, I'm currently on it to get. So check it out. You're gonna find a link in the video description. You're gonna find a link. You're gonna find a link in the video's description. So let's continue. So right now, I already have my serializers created, but there's something here. We don't need this. We don't need this created. We don't need this created. We don't need this attributes here. This field. This. We don't need that there because whenever we create a new card, this is gonna be automatically created for us. Understand? If you check, if you check the cards model, you can see this is a daytime field, and it has this auto now. So this this also now add make sure that whenever we create a new card, the time it was created is going to be added automatically. We don't need to put this manually. So I'm going to remove this field right now. I'm going to remove this created field because we don't need it. We don't actually need it there. So I'm going to remove it now. So after we've done this now, what is the next step? So we need to create a views for this serializer. Let's go create a view. So go down to your API app. On the view, go down to your views or Wi-Fi. So currently I'm on the views section now. So I'm going to create a new view sets in this time we are using the view sets here we are using the view set so if you've not watched my view if you know if you don't know about view sets i already covered view sets in one of the episodes so go and check the previous episodes in this time so you're going to find the link to the video description so the, the, you're going to find the link to the playlist of this series in the video description so check it out so go and check out the previous episode so right now i want to get a card so how do we go about this it's super simple so right now I'm gonna use the view set. Now I'm gonna say class. I'm gonna call this cat view set. 
cart view set and we are going to inherit from model view set and already imported model view set on top it's that model view set can sit up here so if you if you are, it, it is your it, it is your first time here so what i recommend is that go and check the previous episode so you can follow along well so for the link you're going to see that in you're going to find link to the playlist in the vid in this video's description so check it out so right now we are going to use the model view set but but this you can see this right now we have the model view sets we are inheriting from this model view set covers four operations it covers four it covers the create operation we can create we can retrieve we can update and we can delete but well, right here we want to only create a cart instead we want to only create a cart so what are we going to do now so just hold down hold down if you're on windows hold down your control key if you're on mac hold down your command key and then click on this hold down windows and click on this okay as i said hold down your command or control key and click on this okay right now you can see my is not clickable that, that I, i'll explain why now it should, it should be clickable it should, it should be clickable it should be something like let me show what i'm talking about now let's go to the top you can see if i come down to my category you can see it's clickable you can see the you can see that and cursor but right now to the views to the model view it is not clickable so right now to what i want, I want to get some of the logic I want to get some of the logic they use in building this model view set. I want to get it, but right now I can't get it because my model view set is not clickable. You can see it's not clickable. So what do you do? Do what was what's what's the cause of this now? So I'm gonna explain something to you guys right here now. So you can see you can see my rest framework does response. The rest framework, the all the, you can see they all have this red underline or they, 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 they all have this red underline. You understand? They all have them. So how do we remove these things? It's very, very simple. Do we, I'm going to explain the cost of this error. So the cost is that the cost is because our current Python interpreter is not the same as the one in our virtual environment. So that's the cost. So how do you rectify this problem? It's super simple. So go down to your VS Code, open the View tab, click on Command Palette. So right now, click on Python Select Interpreter. So open that. So if we don't find that there, simply search for Python Interpreter python interpreter instead if you don't find that so click on that so click on enter interpreter part click on it so right now what i want you to do what, what i want you to do what i want you to do now is very very simple so go down to where your virtual environment is wherever it is go there and copy the path to that virtual environment so i'm going to copy my right now so follow me so I'm, i have my in my in my c drive so go down to look at bix so my is my c drive because i'm going to get my right now so let's get there now so i'm going to open my so so it's in that it's inside the emvs folder so this is my virtual environment so i have this one called drf emv so this is what i want here so i'm going to open that now open so open the scripts folder so i'm showing you how you can do this step by step so yeah this is where i am this, this is where i want to be so yeah this is where i want to be so right now i'm going to copy this direct copy this address i'll simply copy so come down here so let me see how it looks like here paste no so let's see go down to the tab again i think it's here okay let's see where it is so let's copy this address copy or oh, let's say edit address let's see so uh, it's perfect i need this address i'm going to simply copy that address now so come on come over here let's paste it here and see how it looks like perfect this is what i want now so this is this is the address to my virtual environment so i'm going to come over here and paste it here so paste here and after you've pasted make sure you put in python dot exe so that's what you need to do so click click on enter so just press enter on your keyboard so i think that's going to solve this issue you see over here so right now right now you can see now those red on the lines are all gone you can see everything is looking perfect those error signs are no longer there so perfect now so i can see you can see that my view set is now clickable my model view set is now clickable perfect so just scroll down now to where we were before so over here so click on this open this now hold down command or control key open this so click on this now i'm gonna click so it's open now i can see what makes up the model view set you can see the mixings that makes up the model view set. We have the create model, we have the retrieve, we have the update, we have the destroy, we have the list. So right now, we only need the create mode, we, we only need the create model mixing. So and the generic and the generic view sets. That's all we need. 
So right now, let's go down to our views of my file. So I'm going to simply import create model mixing and import generic view set you get. So to our so to the home to the top now. So we're going to simply say from rest framework dot mixing. So I, I don't need a lot of this stuff. I don't need them again. So I'm going to clear them. I don't need all this stuff again. So we are no longer using API views. So I'll say from rest framework from rest underscore framework from rest framework. I'm going to simply import. Sorry, from rest framework dot mixing dot mixing. We need to import the create. I think it's called create model mixing. Please help me suggest this create model. Yeah, create model mixing. That's it there. And we also need to import this generic view set. It's really necessary. This is the base. This is the base method. Whatever is I don't know what it's called, but this is this is the base thing we need to inherit from. So we need to also import that. So we're going to import that from rest So we're going to simply come over here and say generic view set. So perfect. That's all we need there. So that's all we need. So the bottom now, we are going to simply inherit from create model mixing so we already have it at the top so it's called create model mixing and generic view set in the stand generic view set generic view set so that's it over there so after you've done this now so you need to declare two variables in this time one is called query set the other is called serializer class you get so i'm going to say query set should be equal to cat dot object dot all and then the serializer class Oh, cat should be imported also. Control home. So from store up the models, let's import cats. So, so, so now one thing is left is called civilizer class. That should be equal to cat civilizer. Cat civilizer. So that's it now. Perfect. So, what's more? So, after you've made up your view sets, after you've made up your view, we need to go and create our router. So how do we create the router? Just, we've done we've covered this before. So go down to your where is it again? To so your URLs.py file. Go down to URLs.py file. Just here now. I'm gonna simply come over here and say router.register. So if you've not followed, please go and watch the view set and routers so you can understand what we are doing here in the stand so we are going to let me say router so what, what you need to do if you are new to if, if, you, if, you, are, if you are new to the series if it's your first time on the series i recommend you go and watch the previous episodes in the stand you're going to find the link to the playlist in the video description so check it out please so it's going to be router dot register so we're going to simply say cat and now it's going to be called views dot cat view set so perfect so that's all we need to do now so to the browser let's see okay so to the browser let's see the browser right now so i'm going to go down to that endpoint. So it's one to seven so four slash api then four slash i think it's called cats you understand cats instead so let's see what it gives us perfect i see you on the page now i'm currently on the page but everything is working fine you can see now over here it says cat list right so right now as you can see now we have this cat list it says cat list what, what this means is that we have to list all the cats but we, we are not doing that here you can see it says over here that this method is not allowed we can't use a get method on this page because we are required to just create a cat you see that's why it says method we are not gonna we are not allowing a get method here we can only create a cat or get a cat or we can delete our or we can delete a cat we are not meant to list out all the cats we only have to do it our own personal cat you get so right now you can see for us to create a cart you need to pass in the id but in real life in a real e-commerce website you don't need to put, you don't need to put, you don't need to put in the id for you to create your cart that was wrong you understand so right now what i want to do now is i want to go down to my serializer and make this feed read only you understand so whereby we can we can't edit it it's only going to be read only so to so the browse so i'm going to go down to my editor right now so go down to your serializer.py file so you can see this you can see the field here it's called id so come over here now i'm going to simply say id should be equal to civilizers dot i think it's called uuid field uuid field so i'm going to simply say read underscore only should be equal to true you understand so that's it over there am i explaining this strongly you know why it's not responding okay so right now everything is fine everything is perfectly fine so now to so the browser let's see what the browser says 
So now I'm going to simply refresh this page once more. Let's refresh it. You can see now we don't have that value there again. You can see we don't have the ID and the null value again. If you go down to the HTML form, if we see everything is empty, we can create a cat now without having to supply its ID. So post, let's see. Perfect. Right now we just made, we just created a new cat. You can see the ID over here. So everything is working now. So I just showed you how we can create a cat using the Django REST framework. Right now we just created a cat from our e-commerce website using Django REST framework. In the stand. So I'm going to summarize. I'm going to summarize all, 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 all what we did. I'm going to summarize everything again for you. So to the editor right now. First of all, we have to create our serializers, which is what we did here. After, after your serializers, we have to then go down to our views and we have to use the view set. Okay, so here's our views. So we have to use the view set. But if you check closely, we cannot use we we are we are not using model view set because model view set covers four operations, which are the get, which are the create, retrieve, update, and delete. But what we are trying to cover is simply the create, the retrieve, and delete. But right here. We cover the creating of a cat in the stand. So we have to just use what makes up the model view set, which are which one of them is actually the create model mixing. So I have to import this, then import the base class, which is the name, which is which which is generic view sets. So after I did that there, I have to then declare my query set and serializer class. After I've done this, then I have to go down to my URLs and then I have to create a route for this view set. I have to create a route for this view set. So I had to use the I had to use the routers and then we made the routes for the view set and that's all we had to do. That's all we had to do. And let's come back to the views. Let's come back here and make this ID read only the So that's so that's all we so that's everything for this tutorial, this video. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to retrieve a cat with its cat item, how to get a cat and its cat items inside that has not been the next tutorial so thank you for watching this video so if you do like it if you do like it if you like this video please click on the like button drop a comment for me i want to hear from you and don't forget to subscribe to cool with clinton please subscribe 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 so i'll see you in the next video stay blessed and bye bye